Welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom, and in this video, we are going to talk all about vibrance and saturation. We're really going to dive deep into the difference between vibrance and saturation. So for this video, we did a photo shoot with Ashley, and this was actually a photo shoot for my portrait masterclass for Premium Light Academy, and I will have a link to that down in the description if you are curious to know how to take very clean, very sharp outdoor portraits with absolutely minimal gear. This was just a camera, a lens, and a model of 100% natural lighting. So if you're curious about our portrait masterclass, check us out at Premium Light Academy. That's either premiumlightacademy.com or the link down in the description. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about vibrance and saturation. These sliders in Lightroom look very similar, but they are very different. And we are here in Adobe Lightroom Classic. You can follow along in any version of Lightroom. They all have vibrance and saturation sliders. And almost any app these days that does photo editing will have a vibrance and a saturation slider. Again, they look very similar, but they handle your image very differently. So let's go ahead and let's talk about those. So we did our basic treatment to our image, our basic toning. And again, we covered basic toning in our toning video. All of that's done and we're down here to mess with our vibrance and our saturation. And if we make this image black and white, for example, you can see these are grayed out because we don't need to be using vibrance and saturation in a black and white image. Go back to our color right there and you can see we have those back. So vibrance and saturation, what is the difference? Let's go ahead, we'll double click vibrance, double click saturation. We will take those back to their zeroed values right here in the slider. And let's turn vibrance all the way up. Now that does not look amazing. Ashley is a little too saturated but it's not absolutely terrible. I'll see much worse images on Instagram. The shirt is a white shirt and it's a little too saturated for my taste, but we have not completely murdered the image. If we go ahead and we turn up saturation to 100%, yes, that looks terrible. We have completely murdered our skin tones. We have overcooked and we have deep fried this image. We have absolutely murdered our skin tones and that's a very nice way of putting it. Double click to reset that because those hues look absolutely terrible. So let's talk about the difference here. You can see that Vibrance, while it added some saturation and added some color to our image, did not completely kill our image even at 100%, but saturation did. Why is that? Well, saturation is a global editing slider. That means it's gonna take all of your colors and it's gonna ramp all of them up or turn all of them down and mute all the colors completely in your image. Vibrance works a little differently. Vibrance will work to protect your skin tones and those skin tone values. Same here, turn those down. You can see when Vibrance is turned to negative 100, we still have just a touch of saturation in our greens and same thing, tiny, 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 but maybe 1% saturation in our blues and maybe 1% saturation in our skin tones. We'd have to actually turn down our saturation to completely desaturate the image. And that is again because Vibrance is more of a smart tool. It works around your skin tones so you don't clip your skin tones even if you turn it all the way to the top. You can see an example of this in our histogram up top. We will have a full dedicated video to the histogram, but we can see if we turn Vibrance all the way up, we're not quite clipping our hues we are just completely murdering our hues in our histogram when we turn saturation all the way up. So if you're going to be editing skin tones, I highly recommend you start with the vibrance, turn it up ever so slightly. If it's not doing enough, you can add just a touch of saturation. I can never think of an image where I would go more than 10%, or if I wanna turn down, I usually don't go less than 10, 15%, unless I'm completely desaturating the image. But I think 10%, is about a solid maximum. Let's tweak that right there. 10, 11% solid maximum for your skin tones if you are editing a portrait, for example. And then I can still go in and just add just a little bit more and make my final tweaks with Vibrance. 20, 30, 40 is pretty solid for Vibrance, adding that in. I really don't wanna go up here. We're starting to add way too much saturation and way too much color but I think 30 looks pretty good. So there 
is our overall image. And that is the difference between vibrance and saturation. And especially for portraits, you wanna be very light on the saturation. And if you need to add more color, go to your vibrance slider first. So I hope you learned the difference between vibrance and saturation in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you're seeing all of the 30 days of Lightroom tutorial series where the goal is to make you a pro in Lightroom in 30 days or less. And if you have a friend, be sure to share this video with a friend because that always helps out the channel as well. And until next time, get out and go shoot.